Under the umbrella of the Center of Excellence for Ethics, Responsibility and Sustainability, Voxen University kickstarted its ERS initiatives by organizing a business tournament where management students from PUCPR Brazil and design students from School of Art and Design came together to work in a three-week intense design challenge. The students were divided in six groups where five management students from PUCPR and three students from the design school worked together to form a team. All the teams were mentored by faculty members from both the schools. The mentors from both schools have identified a problem that is common in both Brazil and India. And the final problem statement they have picked up is working with the local rag, rag picking communities to create value and enhance their lives. The students have carried out intensive field research and literature research and have developed solutions in the domain of upcycling and value creation for all the stakeholders involved. The students will now take you through their journey and the proposed solutions. In today's world, e-waste is being generated at alarming quantities. Contrary to popular belief, recycling of e-waste is a very complicated process. Our product is an AI-based uh, mobile application that uh, scans uh, e-waste to identify and analyze various components such as motherboard so that they can be reused and refurbished. This helps significantly reduce the amount of e-waste that is being generated and also helps reduce the burden on recycling facilities and thus empowering the refurbishing market in India. Hospital waste is also known as white waste and mainly compresses of needles, blades, surgical tools, etc. Hospital waste management often falls under the grey areas and is deemed unrecyclable. So our aim is to make bricks out of the white waste. Currently, conventional bricks have a coating of zinc and iron for strength. So here the brick would be made of rock or limestone powder with a mixture of stainless steel powder. The white waste would be sanitized by autoclaving and a grinder is used to make stainless steel powder. This would make our product much more stronger, durable and is sustainable and it is much cheaper than conventional bricks. One of the most common types of waste produced over the world is plastic. We aim to tackle the usage of plastic in the public transportation system. Our product will aim to make bus handles and straps out of PET plastic. Thin strips of PET plastic can be cut and woven to form these straps. Currently, they are being made out of nylon which fray quite easily. This makes our product much stronger, more durable and easier to manufacture. 